I want you to know, just a couple days before Byron died, it was the last time I saw him when he was awake, and Michelle was having kind of a bad day, and I got over there, and she kind of left me alone with Byron, and Byron and I were talking and praying, and he was sleeping off and on a little bit, and I sang a couple verses of, of Abide with me to him, and I recited a couple Bible verses, and then I got to 1 Corinthians 15. And I said, Behold, I tell you a mystery, Byron. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. And he sat up, and he looked me in the face, and he said, Yes! (laughs) And I went on. In the flash and a twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and we will be raised imperishable. And Byron said, yes, with a twinkle in his eye. And he laid back down and went to sleep. <laughs> but if you wanted to get Byron stoked, if you wanted to get Byron energized, if you wanted to get Byron excited about something, even when he could no longer articulate everything he wanted to say, you start talking about Jesus coming again, and Byron was right there with you. You see, Byron clung on to the promise of a Savior who would be willing to die on a cross and rise again so that we don't have to act like this is the end, so we don't have to pretend this as good as it gets, so that this separation and this sorrow and this brokenness will not have the final word. Byron believed in a God of promise and a God of life, and Byron believed that life was everlasting. but I don't have to tell you that. I can let Byron tell you that. This clip is from Byron's last sermon here at St. Luke Lutheran Church. None of us could have guessed it would have been his last. But if we'd known, I bet you Byron wouldn't have done anything different. Listen to Byron's confident profession of faith. Folks, God is a God of life. He created it. He blesses it. It's not temporary. It's eternal. And because of the fall, sin is all around us. And we see the pain of that sin. We see the results of those sins. And in in our frustration and in our hopelessness, we may wrongly believe or accept that You know, that's just it. It all leads to death and decay anyway. For them, death becomes like a victory. You know, like death is something that will kind of set you free. The grave is just returning back to the dust. But death is not a victor. Not ever. Death is the enemy. And what's more, death has been defeated in Christ's work on the cross. And it will be defeated for all of those who are in Christ Jesus.
day.